Welcome back to another episode of We View and Review. And today we have the latest flagship smartphone from Huawei, the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Today we won't be diving into the specifications on the phone. Today we'll be talking about a brand new feature which will definitely be the next go-to search engine that could lead you to numerous apps out there. So with the absence of the Google Play Store on the Huawei phone, we have the Huawei App Gallery. So initially, there was a lot of noise regarding the whole app situation and whether or not you can download apps such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Gmail, and etc. But let's just say you are a new user to the phone and you're wondering how are you going to be able to download all of your apps without Google on the Huawei phone. But let me just tell you right now, there's an app that will make your transition easier just like that. Introducing Petal Search, the newest tool from Huawei that offers features such as favorite apps, instant searches, daily weather, live sports, and newsfeed. And you can even categorize them into images, videos, and news. So long story short, this is a gateway to millions of apps out there on the internet. Now, it may sound simple, and it is. <laughs> so let me show you how. You can literally download any app with a single tap. And also, it will show you a verified batch to assure you that it's trustworthy. And since the Huawei phone is also still an Android-based phone, it still comes with pre-installed apps from the Huawei App Gallery. So let's install our basic apps. What do we use on a daily? We use Instagram, and as you can see here, it is verified. So that's the app to go to. Just download it. Another app I use is the Waze app to check for GPS and traffic and your maps. So Waze is a third-party app, so it will lead you to the site APK Pure for you to download the right APK file. So all you have to do is just download, just like that. So you can always rely on Petal Search to give you the best source for the APK file for your Android phone. And also right before installing, you can also modify your permissions to suit your style of usage. Another app that I will use on a daily is Twitter. Yeah, that's where I get my news from. So when I search for Twitter, there are two apps that appear on the top. One is Twitter APK Pure, and the other is the Twitter Quick app that has been verified on the app gallery because it's been pre-installed on the phone. So I will download the Quick app since it's verified, right? And the cool thing about Paddle Search is that it will also ask you if you want to add Twitter onto your homepage. So I'll definitely add that in. And it's right there. Another app which I use almost on a daily basis, uh, too shy to admit it, but yes, TikTok. And as you can see, there are a lot of different apps for TikTok, but of course, there is already a verified version of TikTok on the app gallery. There are actually two TikTok apps that are verified. One is a TikTok and TikTok Lite. I didn't know about the TikTok Lite. But let's just use TikTok as it is. It's already downloaded. I, I didn't even know. All I did was just press download and it was done. Huh. Cool. Another app which I use on a daily basis is of course my POSB Digibank app. So let's just check that out. And it has been verified on the app gallery. And all I have to do is just click install. And another app which I'm very proud of, which I use almost on a daily basis, which I shouldn't actually, is Food Panda, that's right. And of course, Food Panda has been verified. And as you can see, there are actually two apps that shows Food Panda. One is from APK Monk and the other is verified from App Gallery. So of course, you would definitely be downloading the one from App Gallery. All I have to do is just click install here and bang, done. The Petal Search is definitely a good solution to address all of the missing apps from the App Gallery. But do keep in mind, the Petal Search is not an app store. It's simply a gateway to more apps. The official app store is of course the Huawei App Gallery and to give it a more local feel, they are already in talks with some of the local developers to make more official apps accessible. So most of the apps downloaded from Petal Search can work completely fine. But do bear in mind, apps such as YouTube and Grab will require Google certification and Google Maps. So they might not be complete on your phone. But fret not, for YouTube, there's an easy solution. All you have to do is just open up the browser, open up YouTube, and you can actually save the YouTube homepage as a shortcut on your home screen. So it's just the same as opening up an app. And for Grab, the app still allows you to make your bookings and deliveries without a glitch, even though the map is not shown. 
So that's all you need to know now about the pedal search and all I can say is that the Huawei app gallery is still relatively new and it's ever growing and there are loads of apps out there to be downloaded. So let us know in the comment section below what kind of apps you'd like to see us try and download on this phone and it doesn't matter how crazy it is, just let us know down in the comment section below and we might just do a video on it on the next episode of We View and Review. Alright guys, as usual, remember to check out our latest video here, subscribe to our channel, like this video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.